in the mahabharat only the heroism of arjuna's son abhimanyu is mentioned but there were many warriors without whom it would have been difficult for the pandavas to win the battle of mahabharat so today we will know about arjuna's son iravan what was his sacrifice in mahabharat which made it easier to win the battle of pandavas iravan or aravan he was the son of arjuna and holupi he was a nagar prince and fierce warrior he played a smaller role in mahabharat but has a very tragic story his life was not as dramatic as his death let's go to a little details after pandavas 13 years stay out of their kingdom they were returned back and as per their deal they were supposed to get back their kingdom they sent krishna to talk to duryodhan who was ruling the kingdom in the absence of pandavas however duryodhan despite being reminded of their deal and refused to give them back their kingdom he also said that the only way that the pandavas could get hold of their kingdom was to fight a war krishna realizing that there is no other way but to accept the war and told the pandavas to go ahead with their preparation for war iravan also participated in kurukshetra war it was evident in the war that kauravas camp was very powerful and it was almost next to impossible to defeat kauravas krishna realized that pandavas must offer their prayers to goddess kali if they want to win but the only condition was that kali's prayer would need a human sacrifice and humans need to have 32 characters the only three humans in kurukshetra who had these characters were krishna arjuna and iravan it was never possible to sacrifice krishna arjuna also could not be sacrificed as he was the main warrior of pandavas camp at the end iravan offers himself for sacrifice but he conveys his precondition to krishna first one was to have a date of a warrior on the battlefield and the second one was that he wanted to die married that is he didn't want to die as a virgin so that he could get rightly cremated krishna grants him the boons he then sacrifices himself to goddess kali on an amavasya he cuts himself into 32 pieces and offers to kali god is satisfied and very happy with sacrifice that appears in front of iravan and pandavas and grants them a boon to be victorious according to boons granted to iravan by krishna he lives for whole 18 days of the kurukshetra war iravan dies on the battleground while fighting in kurukshetra war iravan defeat srutayush a khatriya king who was demon in the previous life Vinat Anavinda princess of Avanti kingdom he is finally killed by the rakshas a giant named Alambhusa or Alambusa Gharatkach avenges Iravan's death by killing Alambusa as far as the story of Iravan is concerned he is born about not dying as a virgin more information comes from folklore and bhagavad purana as he was destined to die in ongoing war no lady wanted to marry him in the end lord krishna in his feminine form as mohini marries with iravan and spends a night with him Ooh.